What's up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna be taking you through a dumbbell only workout. This workout's gonna be for your chest, shoulders, and triceps. And I've got a pair of 10 kilo dumbbells, so it's gonna be done at home or at the gym. Before we start, I just wanna go over the muscles we'll be using first for this workout. Starting with the pectoralis major, or the pecs. The pecs are combined of three different heads. That is the cavicular head, or the upper chest, the sternocostal head, and the abdominal head. Although both of these are generally grouped into the lower pecs. The fibers of the chest run from the origin point on the sternum and clavicle to the insertion point on the humerus. So you can target the upper and lower chest individually. A common myth is that you can target the inner and outer pecs, although this isn't true and there's no such thing as an inner chest exercise. Moving on to the deltoids, this muscle consists of three different heads, the anterior, medial and posterior deltoid. Although this workout is going to focus on the anterior and the medial deltoid. And lastly is the triceps. The triceps consist of three separate heads, the lateral, medial, and long head. This workout will target the entire tricep. Now moving on to the workout. Before you start this workout, ensure you have already completed a five to 10 minute warm up. First, we're gonna focus on the lower chest with a circuit of three exercises. Exercise one is dumbbell flies. When you do these, you wanna make sure you have a slight bend in your elbow the entire time. Bring your elbows all the way down to the ground while keeping your chest up high. This is gonna help you stretch out your pecs so you're getting full range of motion. To make this a little bit harder, stop just before your arms reach vertical. This way you'll maintain pressure on your pecs throughout the entire set. Do these for anywhere between 10 to 20 reps, as long as the last reps are close to failure. Next, you're moving on to decline dumbbell floor presses without taking any rest in between these two exercises. Bring your hips up high so there's a straight line going through your shoulder to your knee. Then bring your elbows all the way back down without letting them rest on the ground. Again, 10 to 20 reps reaching close to failure. After you complete your set, straight away start with wide grip push-ups. You should have your hands wide so your forearms are vertical at the bottom of the push-up. This is gonna put more pressure onto your chest. Just be sure to keep a slight tuck in your elbows so they're always over top of your wrists. This set should be completed for max reps. Once you finish this set, rest for 30 seconds to one minute, then repeat the circuit three to four times. The next circuit is focusing on the upper chest and the anterior deltoids. The first exercise is a standing shoulder press. Keeping your core tight is gonna keep your back safe as well as keep the focus onto your anterior deltoids. Aim for 10 to 20 reps as long as the last reps are close to failure. Next, move straight into a rotating inclined dumbbell press. Find something to support your upper back so you're on a 45 degree incline. Start with your palms facing towards you and your chest puffed out, then rotate the dumbbells 180 degrees as you press them towards the ceiling, adding for 10 to 20 reps. Last in the circuit is close grip push-ups. Your hands should be at shoulder width so your elbows are tucked in close to your sides. This set will be done for max reps and can be done on your knees or on an incline if you're struggling to reach at least eight reps. Now take 30 seconds to one minute rest, then repeat the circuit three to four times. The last circuit is focusing on your shoulders and your triceps. The first exercise is a dumbbell lateral raise. Starting with the dumbbells by your sides and a slight bend in your elbows, raise the dumbbells until they're the same height as your shoulder while keeping the dumbbells level. If the weights you're using are too heavy, bend your elbow to a 90 degree angle to make this exercise a little bit easier. This exercise might be harder, so aim for eight to 15 reps. Next is an overhead dumbbell tricep extension. Starting with the dumbbells overhead and keeping them tight together, bend your elbows to try to touch them on your shoulder blades. Once this gets too heavy, drop one dumbbell. Just always be sure your elbows are pointing forwards during this exercise. The last exercise is a dumbbell front raise. This is similar to dumbbell lateral raises, although you're bringing the dumbbells out in front to focus on the anterior deltoids. Remember to keep your torso strong and avoid swinging. Once you're done, rest for 30 seconds to one minute, then repeat three to four times. This workout can be done two to three times per week, allowing at least one rest day between each workout. If you enjoyed this workout, share it with a friend. Comment below what workout you want to see next. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification too.